Hi guys, Angie Bells, my fairy treasures. I'm coming around. Okay, you guys. Sit down. Oh, I have so much stuff. Hi guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back with Dollar Tree haul. And you guys, this is a Dollar Tree haul from like a week and a half ago. Like last, I should say, not, I don't know. How, I'm trying to think of when. Let's just say it's from like last weekend yeah let's say it like that so but this stuff is still in the dollar trees and you know how it is now everybody gets everything at the same time so you can still totally search for all this stuff so um it's pretty big like always i can't seem to go to i can't seem to go to dollar tree and spend like 20 bucks i try but i am spending 30 40 a couple times i spent like 60 or 80 that was kind of when i was buying christmas presents too so anyway all right, so let me just get started with this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, um, you guys, I bought these 11 by 14 frames. I think these are really nice. And they're not, you know, sometimes uh, Dollar Tree frames can be a little cheaply built, but these feel pretty sturdy. And they're, um, is it, are they silver or gold? I think they're gold. If you, want it, if you want it to be a little bit more gold, you could spray them again, but this gold is good enough for me. But it's 11 by 14. I love this. I have two others that I bought in the past. So I bought a total of one, two, three, four. I bought six of these because you guys, they don't have the 11 by 14 very often. So if you see them and you know you're going to need 11 by 14, I would pick them up, especially if you want to frame, if you want to start framing stuff, you want to start framing any of these bags or boxes or whatever, the 11 by 14 frames would be good. Even if you have to put like some scrapbook paper in the back to kind of mat it, if it doesn't quite fit, then you'll see some really pretty scrap scrapbook paper on the outsides. Okay, you guys. This is what I'm going to do a DIY and I'm going to frame it and I'm going to probably do the framing on um, on a video here I think right after this one so that you guys can see how they turn out. You guys look at these um, boxes. Are these everything? This is, um, what's his name? Um, Norman Rockwell. I love his stuff. These are boxes. So I thought these boxes, and I haven't seen these Norman Rockwells anywhere at all. Um, and this one, okay, I'm kind of mixing this Dollar Tree up. I just did a Dollar Tree haul. Let me say real quick. Um, from here to California, I visited like four, from here to Pismo Beach, California, I visited four Dollar Trees. And I, and so this right here is from that visit, which was just a few days ago, but I wanted to show you guys this stuff because I want you to be able to look for it. And also I'm going to do a DIY with it. So anyway, I got this in Pismo Beach, California. So I haven't found this in Las Vegas. So just be on the outlook for this. But anyway, it's Norman Rockwell, which I love all of his paintings. Check out the boxes. You guys, are these everything or what? Oh my God. Love that. So I'm totally framing these in the 11 by 14s. And this is a little bit bigger than 11 by 14s, but as long as I get the main part, I'll probably just cut off the bottom a little bit or maybe off the top, probably the top and the bottom to fit it. It fits the width, it's just a little long. Check out this one with the little girl. Isn't that everything, you guys? I absolutely love it. Oh, so cute. And I want to hurry up and get these framed. That's why I'm going to do that, that DIY video plus another DIY in that video after this because I want to um, I want to get these up in my house. Um, look at this old-fashioned Santa Claus. I just love it. Okay, and then um, I love it. I just love Norman Rockwell. And look at that. Is that fabulous or what? Oh, I just love it. And what's cool is there's two, both of these boxes, there's two boxes. Obviously, I showed the back and the front. Um, what's awesome is you get two, two pictures for a dollar that you could frame. 50 cents each. Fabulous. So, you guys, look for that DIY. I'll be doing that on camera um, after this video. Uh, another DIY that I'm going to be doing probably in that same video is with these candles, you guys. It, this isn't anything new, but they're back. This one says, Hello Gorgeous. Love it. And this one says, Be Awesome Today. And I actually didn't look at... Hey, honey, I'm doing a video. I actually didn't look at the sayings because there's always they're always really good sayings. I was looking at the colors because I wanted the colors to kind of match like you know my decor and this will match my craft room. So it also match my shabby sheet Christmas. So anyway, well especially this one. But there we go. 
And I mainly get these for decor more than I get them for smell or for even burning. Especially after you guys see the DIY I'm going to do with these. So I'll show you guys that. And then um, I bought these. Um, you guys, I told you I've got, I've really started getting into the Dollar Tree candles because it has just enough. The ones that have throw have just enough throw that it doesn't give me a headache like other candles. Like if I was to buy Bed Bath & Beyond, which I know everybody loves, it's too much throw. It gives me a headache to, uh, Walmart ones give me a headache, but these ones are just enough throw. So, anyway, I got the coffee can the oh, it's kind of hopefully that's not bent. I got the coffee candles, and someone told me you got to be careful with these because the lids aren't like you know the most high quality, and neither is the paper going around. So you do have to be careful. I got the uh, nutmeg spice, and I bought two of them, and I bought some other ones of these too. And I heard the throw is really good on these. And I want these not just for the throw, but I want them for um, for decoration too. Because it's going to go on my, I have a hot cocoa station, hot cocoa slash tea station. And I want these to go on there. So, there may be a DIY with these also. Okay. Um, what's next? Oh, okay. I'm going to show you guys a couple of other things just thrown into this because... Um, I bought some stuff from Target and I bought some stuff from the grocery store. So I'm just going to throw a few things like that in this Dollar Tree haul because I can't just, I only bought a few things, like two or three things. So it's not worth getting a, having its own video. But you guys, at Target in the dollar spot, these were three bucks. Oh my God, these were gorgeous. I think that was the Target here. Yeah, it was here. The one here in Las Vegas. Look at that. You guys, this is the Target that's on Cheyenne. It's North Las Vegas on Cheyenne, so people who live here will know that if they want to go. Look how gorgeous that is. I was looking for the um, ice skates to, uh, so I can um, redo those, the ice skates, the wooden ice skates, but of course they don't have those. Look at this one. And you guys, these are ceramic. Look at the gold on there. I love the raspberry color for the top and for the, um, the cuff around it. And then it's just all gold there. And then this one is um, wine color in the back and then gold design. I think it's just gorgeous. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. So I saw these are ceramic. They are gorgeous. They were three bucks, and I did not mind paying three bucks at the dollar spot at all for these. I think these are gorgeous. These would make great Christmas presents. You know, it, maybe even a couple of them. I mean, if you're at three bucks a piece, but it definitely this with a cup of, you know, with a pack of tea or hot cocoa or something. Oh, great present. And they're nice and, they're not too heavy, but they have a good weight to them. So they don't seem cheap at all. They're nice. Okay, um, let me continue. And here and there will be a couple other things from other places, but mostly Dollar Tree, of course. Okay, this is the other, oh my God, this one has a great throw. It's the white chocolate frappe. I believe I bought a few of these ones too. Okay, it's another coffee candle. This smells so good. Oh, they smell it from here. I'm going to, um... I'm going to keep this one out because I'm going to burn this one. Oh, love it. Another candle that I loved was, um, and you guys said the old Williamsburg candles had a good throw. And um, I bought just one, this one time, just to make sure it had the good throw. And I really liked that one. So then I went ahead and started buying a bunch of others. So you guys are going to start seeing me start hauling candles like you guys do. And this is an old Williamsburg. I love the jar. Kind of like a little, I don't know, a little mason jar, but a little short chubby one. And this is the strawberries and cream. And you guys, oh, it smells divine just leaving it out and just walking by. And my other one smells like that too. My other one's a very Christmassy one. It's like a rhubarb and berries, but it smells, it has a little cinnamon or something to it. Oh, this smells so good. Everything. And you know what? Uh, Pretty and Flawed said something. If you really want a stronger throw, like maybe that bed, bed, bath, and body throw, buy two candles of the same one and light two in that same room. And you're going to, she said, that really helps develop the whole fragrance really, you know, nice and strong if you like that stronger, um, if you like that stronger throw. So, I like a light to medium throw, so it works good for me with just the one. Um, I was trying to think of something else. Okay, that's it for that, I think. Okay, next. Oh, more, it's okay. This is a bunch more candles. Um, this is another one of the strawberry and creams. And I got some of these for gifts, too. That's why I bought more than one of each. And then the coffee ones, I just bought a lot because I want to have a lot. 
Uh, this right here, oh my God, this smells so good. The Praline Pecan, Old Williamsburg again. And then there's the jar. Look how gorgeous the jar is. I mean, so once you're done burning this, the jar is just like fabulous. Oh my God. It smells like praline. I mean, these ones are, these, you guys were right about these old Williamsburg. They are for real. They are, they smell so flipping good. I got another one of these. This is what it's called, called Tis the Season. I already have one. I'm, I've been burning it. I absolutely love it. Um, is this old, an old Williamsburg also? There's the, what it looks like. And, um, let me open it. Oh, it just smells like, oh God, it smells so good. It smells like that potpourri smell that you smell when you, when you go into Michael's at Christmas time. My Michael's doesn't actually have that smell anymore at Christmas time, but they used to. If you guys remember that smell that Michael's used to have at Christmas time, or Bed Bath & Beyond has it at Christmas time too. It just smells like the most beautiful potpourri um, with a little bit of apple spice cinnamon and a few other things. It's called Tista Season. It's divine. I bought another one for myself because I was like, uh, I have to have two of those because they are everything. Okay, I bought another one because I told you I love the way it smells. The uh, Frappe. This one, I bought two of them. And I love the whole thing that makes it look like it's a, um, like it's one of those cold Frappe drinks from um, Starbucks or uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I love it. Okay, here is another good one, another good candle from Old, uh, from Old Williamsburg. It's the Spiced Gingerbread. Check that out. It smells so good. I'm going to open it right now and do a little smell. I wish you guys could smell these candles. Well, most of you guys have because you guys you go to Dollar Tree. So, yeah, you can smell this when you go there. Oh, it smells so, so, so good. You smell the ginger and the cinnamon and the nutmeg, all of it. Love. Love. Oh, I found the pens at Dollar Tree. Um, these gold ones. It's uh, three ballpoint pens and two mechanical pencils. You know, for my journal um, in my area, my craft room, where I do all of my, uh, my do decorate my journal, my uh, planner, which I still need to do that for this month. This will be so pretty in there. I love, I just love pretty. I'm the type of person who doesn't even care if the pen or pencil <laughs> works that great. I just like it if it's pretty. I know that's crazy. I mean, and then it's a plus of like the pen or pen, the, the pencils are always usually good, but the pen's really good and it's pretty. Ah, oh, but you know, I just always go for the pretty one. <laughs> crazy. Okay. I hear so many people doing their hauls talking about how great the pen works, and here's me. I don't care. I'm just fine because it's pretty. Um. Oh, this is some stuff that I got. Okay. This is some stuff I got at Albertson's grocery store. So I'm going to take a mini break from Dollar Tree and get this bag out of the way. And then we'll continue on with Dollar Tree. Um, you guys always check your grocery stores in the Christmas section. Because a lot of times they have um, really good stuff. You guys, let me check my camera. I just want to make sure that my camera is still on. Okay, good. I'm good, you guys. just want to make sure my camera is still on. Coming back around. Oh, and then what I'm drinking, you guys, I'm drinking some chai tea with a little bit of real creamer. Um, like real, not creamer, real cream. And um, my naughty, my nice or naughty mug. I should have that be my little picture. Okay, anyway. I love those mugs. I love the naughty and nice. I love, what did I get? I got another one too. I can't remember what it says, but I love them. Just think they're so cute. Anyway, moving on. Gift tags. I thought these gift tags were so gorgeous. And since my Christmas cards are going to be that little red truck, it was inspired by the Dollar Tree truck on those bags. I, I drew my own and painted my own. I have a whole video about it. Since my cards look like that, I thought when I wrap up the gifts I'm going to be giving from my crafty friends, that um, I like to wrap everything and put them in one big box, but wrap it in um, pattern paper. And then I'll tie a bow on that and then put these tags on there. And it'll match the card. So. So I love these. They're very, they're just very pretty. These look very vintage, very vintage Santa Claus. 
And then this is the plaid. You guys, I, if I didn't do my Christmas shabby chic, I would definitely do the whole plaid look. Like, I think the plaid look is everything. And what I'm going to do, I decided, is I'm going to do the plaid, add the plaid to what I already have for fall decor, and add plaid to it. And that way I can start collecting plaid stuff. Because I love plaid. And then I can do some wreaths with plaid in them. So that'll be in my fall decor next year. But this has a lot of plaid and the little plaid Scotty doll. Dog. I thought those were really cute. And they were only like, I think, 99 cents each. They were like, they were two bucks or something, but they were on clan, um, half price. Okay. Oh. Mugs. No, I don't need any more mugs whatsoever, you guys. But I'm not even worrying about if I need a mug anymore. If I like the damn mug, I'm buying a mug, okay? Where I'm putting it, I have no idea. But who cares <laughs> at this point with me and the mugs? Look. I think I paid five bucks for this mug. Look at it, people. Is that flippin' adorable? It's like the Dollar Tree one, but it has those Santa Claus feet on the bottom. Everything. I paid either three or five. I can't remember. At that point, I didn't care. This mug was so adorable. I had to have it. I, I think I paid under five. I think I paid like three or four dollars. Somewhere, somewhere between three and five. Let's just say that. Is that everything, you guys? If you have an Albertsons, Check it out. These I only paid a dollar a piece because they were on sale. Um, I thought these were so cute. It kind of it matches. This all matches everything. Look how cute this is. It says milk on it. Everything. They were only a dollar, so I picked up three of them. I do do pops of red in my shabby chic pinky whole white thing here and there. Like I have a little red truck on top of this um, china cabinet. I do pop to red here and there because I just feel like a pop to red fit anywhere because it's Christmas. So I, mostly it's shabby chic pink, but I throw pops of red. So I will set these up somewhere all together as a little display. So there's three of those. Isn't that so cute? Oh, like it's a little ceramic milk carton. Um, and to go with that, this is all in the Christmas section. And, and, and I think most of the stuff was like 25% off. Because it was like last week. It'll be cheaper in a few weeks. But, you know, stuff was going. I didn't know if they still have it. So, look at this. This is like the little cookie plate for Santa Claus. Look how adorable that is. Everything. I probably paid two two fifty for these. Something like that. Look at it. And it matches. See, it matches the mug. Ah! So cute. And then it matches like this too. See? So, all this like matches together. Like, it's so... So adorable. My husband saw it too. He's like, oh my God, you have to have that. And I really wish it I, I got that when my kids were small. How cute would that be to set your milk and cookies out for Santa Claus? And then have like a little, little this on the side. Ugh. Would have been so adorable. But anyway. Okay. And then, um, oh, in that same aisle, I bought... Uh, Tuscany candle um, wax melts and these smell really good oh, these are divine I could tell these are very um, good quality they have oh hopefully the throw is not too strong for me but it smells so good it smells kind of like the tis the season candle it smells something like this but actually even stronger, but it's only one little, what I'll probably do is one little square, I'll cut that in half when I put it in my oil burner. So, but anyway, and it, the brand is Tuscany Candle. It's called, oh, it's called Cinnamon Snow. So it's, you can smell a lot of nice cinnamon in there. Oh, smells so good. Okay, you guys, obsessed with this mug. I got this at Albertsons too. Actually, I got it at the Starbucks, which is in the Albertsons. And it is another cup with a straw insulated as if I need another but look at this you guys and this is my second one I've bought from there I'll show you my other one from last week it's sitting right here but look at this oh ah, it is pink um what are those called well you guys can see it so flipping a pink sequence pink sequence you guys insulated look at that this was not cheap. It was a ridiculous price of $18.95. Again, I told my husband, no. He's like, it's a Christmas present. You're buying it. I'm like, oh my God. It's insulated. It's just, it's 
everything. And I cannot wait to take this to Zumba because this is a lot of cold water that I could put in here. So this is going to be used in Zumba class. I flip and love this. It's everything. And this is the other one that I got the week before at, from Starbucks, this pink one. You guys, are these everything? Oh, this one's like 18, so they're not cheap, you guys. But anyway, they were Christmas gifts from my husband, so that was nice. And I really love both of them. And I really love this one with the pink sequins. Too much. Okay. Um, one last thing that's not Dollar Tree is this is from Target, you guys. So really look out for this from Target. It's Bob Ross. He has a art of chill game. I love Bob Ross. My husband loves Bob Ross. I paint, I draw, so does my husband. And I learned a lot of stuff from Bob Ross when I was little, younger. I absolutely love him. So here is his game. We're going to play this on Christmas. So this is his game. And I have no idea how you play it, but it looks really cool. And like, there's little paint chips in here and stuff. And I don't know. It just looks really cool. There's the back. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. Let you guys Hopefully you guys can see that well enough because it's kind of small here. But if you can't, check out this game. It's, they have them at Target. I'm sure they have them at all the stores, Target, you know, Walmart, all of them. But uh, I'm excited to play that with my husband on Christmas. That'll be fun. Okay, so let's get back to Dollar Tree. ham on these these right here whether they're in black or whether they're in the white I don't even actually care that they're chipped up I don't care that they're chipped up with paint or even if they have a little chip in them because I'm doing shabby chic with these um, I'm doing um, a bunch of um, DIYs which is going to be next week I'll show you what I'm doing with these I've picked up tons I've probably picked up 15 of these and the more chipped up they are even if they're white and they're all chipped up, I'm not even going to repaint those because I like the chipped white paint because it's the shabby part, like the shabby chicness. These I'll probably, these I will be painting whatever color to match my project, white or pink. Um, so I picked up a lot of those. So you're going to keep seeing those. You might see more here in a minute. Okay, you guys, I love these. I did, I already did a uh, DIY with these. I picked up a bunch of them. What I did with them for my DIY, you guys can look at my video below. I took the glass candle holders. And I um, E6000 them onto the bottom. So you have a glass candle holder on the bottom of these. It makes these look so, they're already adorable. It takes them up like 10 notches. And they're the cutest Christmas presents ever. Birthday presents. Um, just presents for your crafty friends. And a lot of us have decorate with these kind of colors in our craft room. So um, I picked up four of them. Okay. So these are going to go up on my little crafty shelf. So that um, I can get these out for... Um, gifts throughout the year for Christmas. Um, these I picked up, I'm gonna do a DIY with these. These are just those little metal tens, okay? So I picked those up for a DIY. Put these in here. Let me put these back too. people. Be careful with those. Those things will break. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. These are gorgeous. I think I've already showed, yeah, I already showed these and I did a DIY with these too, but I bought more so I can have them on my crafty shelf like I talk about as back stock so I can make them for gifts for my friends throughout the year. It says Serenity, live one day at a time, and it's purple. Check it out, you guys. Aren't these gorgeous? I absolutely love these. I What I did in my DIY, you can look below, is I did another glass candle holder, and um, you can give these out as gifts for Christmas. To your crafty friends throughout the year and they are gorgeous put they're gorgeous period but then put with the glass candle holder e6000 on the bottom it makes it even more gorgeous absolutely beautiful so i love these <coughs> <coughs> they can be um pencil holders pen holders 
makeup brush holders. You could put a candle in here. You can, there's so much stuff. If you wanted to buy your friend like a really nice makeup brush set, you can put the makeup brush set in there and give her that. Guys, let me check my camera because I do think it's about to turn off.